guys welcome back to my channel so I haven't been able to film a video in a month so I'm really glad to be back and doing that I thought I would go ahead and show you what I got in my Ipsy bag this month it's not a true unboxing well it's not even a box but um, I've already opened it up and seen everything in it and looked up the prices of everything that way I can give you my opinions on the products that I got so let's get into it so the first thing I want to show you is what I got using my points I finally after a year got to uh, was able to use my points on something that I actually liked and wanted to get usually with Ipsy the points um, the products you could get to choose is like deluxe size samples and it's a lot of times things that's already been in bags so I've just been saving up for the right thing because every once in a while the right product comes along but you've got to jump on it fast. And the way you get points is reviewing your products that you get every month and re referring friends and sharing stuff on Facebook. But I ended up getting the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lipstick in the color Be Free. And this is a full size. It retails for $18. So I was like, heck yeah, I want it. Um, they had two colors, but the other color was sold out. This is a nude color. I don't wear a lot of nudes, but I mean, it's pretty though. I like it. Um, it has a weird little button on the side that you push and slide and it comes out. Um, I've had these lipsticks before. I've had some samples and they're really, really creamy and they have a very, very strong vanilla scent. And see, it's just like a typical brown nude color. It's nice. I like it. So I was really glad that I could spend my points before they start running out because after a year they start taking a hundred I think a hundred every month which is stupid all right so now for the bag this is what the card is this month it's floral fantasy is the theme which you know spring you know and this is what the bag looks like and the back is like solid blue I actually don't care for this bag too much it's just a little I mean, it's just nothing special, but it does look springy, so I get what they were going for. So, the first product I got is the Boo Boo Cover Up, and it is a concealer, and it claims that you can cover tattoos and boo boos, you know, whatever, with it. And, oops, let me get my paper here. This little thing uh, retails for $10. So, it seems to be an alright concealer. I haven't really tested it on a tattoo. Well, actually, I could do that now. But the only problem I have with it is it's too dark for me. I think it's in the shade medium, and I would definitely need light. So, let's see if this covers. Um, it doesn't really, doesn't really cover it, but, I mean, maybe a couple layers. Let's see. Can you guys see? I don't know. But anyway, so that was $10. And the next thing I got is the NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Hunk. And it's this color. It's the color I'm wearing on my lips right now. Which is kind of funny because um, I love purple lipstick. And they were giving out three different colors. A nude, a pink, and a purple. And I was like, watch me get a nude. So I actually got the color Hunk. And these are just really, really, really really moisturizing lipsticks but they have pretty good staying power to be so um moisturizing and they don't have a scent just kind of like a lipstick smell but that's it swatch it's more of a pink purple than what the tube looks like and these retail this is a full size and it retails for six dollars okay the next thing i got is the pure Elise gentle soy milk cleanser and makeup remover and it looks like that and it says it gently washes away dirt and makeup even mascara leaves skin pure and clean without stripping it from its natural oils uh, white tea calms and soothes sensitive skin and blue lotus extract leaves skin feeling supple and silky so this is a one ounce and this little container whatever is six dollars worth of product the full size i think was 37 i didn't write it down but I, it was in the 30s and I know it's kind of expensive because the moisturizer is $55 in this brand. I like this brand, everything I've tried from it, but it does make my face feel really silky afterward and it does take the makeup off, so I like it. Okay, my next product is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Anti-Aging Mattifying Lotion. And this 
just says uh, anti-aging modifying lotion, use AM or PM. It doesn't really say it, it claims on it, but I read online that it's just supposed to minimize um, lines and your pores. It's made more for the people that have oily skin, but I've been using it and I actually love it. But the bad thing is, is that it comes with like this much product because you can hold it up to a light when you get it. And it's got that much product in it. This retails for $10. Just this little tube. I really love it. I've been using the AM and PM. It does mattify your face. And it does minimize your pores. But the only thing I don't like about it is. Yeah it smells like eucalyptus. And I don't really like eucalyptus scents. But I do love the product. And I've always wanted to try Dr. Brandt Pores No More products. So there's that. And the last thing I got was Vintage by Jessica Labreskin. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Um, it's an illuminating face highlighter in the color Crystal Pink. And I know that this brand is sold on HSN because I've seen it on there quite often. And it's just a really pretty pink based highlighter. I've got it on my cheeks today. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. It might be a little too pinky for some people, but you can also use this as a shimmer eyeshadow. And this is the swatch of right here. I'm going to stand up so you guys can see. Right here, never mind my awful nails, but I don't know if you can see it shimmering. But it's so, so buttery soft. It really feels great. I absolutely love the texture of this. I could not find a retail for it because it's not on the website. The only thing I could find is that... Um, they make a blush palette that has two blushes in it and they were doing a special offer for Ipsy to where you can get the blush palette and a highlighter just like this for $26. So without counting counting the highlighter, the bag was 30 or all the products retail or well came up to a price of $31. So I would say this is about $10 because it is a high-end brand and so I would say that all my stuff calculated up to be about $40 which is good for $10 a month. That's not counting the bag but last month it was like $120 or $140. I can't remember what it was but it was over $100. So that's how oopsie is. Sometimes you're going to get you know not so good of a, a value and then sometimes you get a great value but I'm really happy with everything I got. I love the cleanser and the mattifying lotion. I love the highlighter and I love the lipstick. The only thing I can't use is the concealer. So, But it's a good month for Ipsy this month for me. So that's all in this video. Stay tuned for my BoxyCharm. I have only got one BoxyCharm once before but I didn't get to film it. But it's a really awesome subscription service. Um, I'll tell you more about that in that video. So, so subscribe so you don't miss it. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.